YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, today we're talking all about how to win 1v2 situations. I drop a 21 kill solo duo in here. So I'm going to give you a few tips for success. And then we're really going to see how they play out throughout the game. Now, quick tip outside of solo duos that doesn't apply. If you're flying in and you get the Diamati, pay attention to the gun that you're flying in with. If you fly in with the Diamati, don't necessarily worry about finding a floor loot gun. The Diamati is absolutely insane. Now, tip number one for success in solo duos or 1v2 situations is going to be pace. I like to play things a little bit slower, play it a little bit more patient until I can get a down and a thirst, and then I start to play fast, which leads me to point number two, repositioning. We want to constantly keep our enemy guessing as to where we actually are and really be unpredictable. Now, between my pace and my repositioning, what I'm looking to do is create two separate 1v1 situations where I am full plates, Full ammo, and it's it's basically two 1v1s. And in that situation, I have confidence that I'm going to win. Now, in, right here, I'm able to get this down. I'm able to get the, thir the thirst, and I don't have any extra plates. So I'm going to go ahead and push around. I'm going to grab this person's plates, and I'm going to end up re-challenging this person with only one plate. But now tip number three, execution. You know, in 1v2 situations, we have to execute. You have to hit shots. You have to use your movement to your advantage. Any mistake could lead to a death there because you take more damage than you should. Whatever the case may be, taking too much damage and making mistakes is what's going to lead to your death. Now, the last thing that I want to address is, okay, in a lot of these situations, I am pushing people. What happens if you are getting pushed by a team of two? And in that case, you just want to play fast. You want to constantly be repositioning. And instead of playing pace, right, instead of playing slow, we just need to be playing fast and repositioning to still try to separate those players and find windows of opportunities where we can get it down in thirst. Now, right here, I don't have enough money for a UAV. I'm a little bit unsure about where people are, but I actually get this red dot on the minimap. Now, I'm going to go ahead and push over here. I know there's at least two teams, right, because I know there's one plus that team that they are fighting. So I'm going to go ahead and get the down up top here. And unfortunately, as we get the thirst, that's a team wipe. I I didn't farm a lot of this lobby, although I kind of wish I had. The world record for duos, I think, is 30, and I had 29. So if I had farmed a little bit more, I actually would have been an okay spot. Now, as I push around this way, I'm trying to see what I can find. And I hear one right behind the door here. So play a little more patient. Play a little bit patient i hear him run up the steps he cracks the door and now i go so now i use combat scouts my advantage now i'm gonna push i go ahead as i said patient until i get the down and the thirst right here i know that this guy's pushing over so now we're gonna start to play fast we're gonna start to reposition i actually get caught in a weird spot here uh this guy was i guess on console with low sensitivity um i end up breaking his camera pretty easily we're able to get that down i'm gonna go ahead and get the thirst real quick before i played up so that i can figure out where his teammate is is his teammate pushing me because that's vital information ends up being a team wipe so i'm gonna go ahead and slow down here replay listen for that other person right there's still one more person that's a separate team right there there's still that guy that was chasing me from before and i'm gonna get him right here we get the down we get the thirst thing. You see, in that scenario, I don't take a lot of damage because I hit all upper torso shots. So we talk about execution. You know, I, I always talk about how do we take less damage. And a big part of that is going to be hitting shots and using movement. And that allows us to stay in fights. Now, a guy just shut that door. So I'm going to go ahead and play this way. I, this guy actually loses me. Like, I have no idea where this guy just went. He ends up pushing down below. And this is where we, again, talk about pace. Playing fast, trying to find him. But at some point, I'm going to switch. Right here, I switch. Okay, where is he? Slow down. He's 14.8 meters to the right. So let's slow down for a second. We're going to go ahead and reposition back and see what we can find. Now, right here, my thought is, okay, how do I get back into this fight, right? Like, how can I separate people? And what I see is 27.8. So I'm going to go ahead and check. And then that guy's a bullet. So I tag him. And he ends up giving up here, which was a huge mistake. He should not have given up. He gives his teammates positioning away. I see that he's above me. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge up on this rooftop here. I catch this guy right here. And we're going to go ahead and get the down and the thirst. I have nine kills. We got eight other teams. And what I really next up want to talk about is who to push. People ask me all the time, Joe, who do I push? Like, how do I know? Well, let's take a look at this situation right here. I've got a bunch of people up the hill. I have two people down at security, but security, and I catch this guy flying in over here. Okay. I want you to keep that person in mind. Security is a tough push here. Security's downhill. 
outside of circle in a position where I could easily get held if I go push them. So I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'll catch them later in a minute. You, you'll see how this plays out. I'll catch them again in a minute. So as I'm pushing up here, I see one person in the shack and one person flying in above me. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can find and try to see if I can catch this shack guy. Again, playing a little bit slower until we can get a down and a thirst. So we're going to get the down there. We're going to get the thirst. I know that his teammate's above me. So I'm going to go ahead and start to reposition here. Grab that cluster strike. I'm going to call it in just because I anticipate him flying back in on roof and him being on roof. So I'm going to force him off the roof. I hear the door open. So I know there's a door basically leading to roof. So I know he's on this floor. I'm going to anticipate. And when we talk about execution again, right? This guy's looking for a gun. This guy doesn't know necessarily know that I'm up here. Watch how because I hit all of my shots, especially upper torso, there's nothing that he can do. He can't do anything. He can't even use movement there to get out of it because I'm hitting all upper torso shots. That is the TTK right now. A lot of people want to see the TTK change. I do as well. I'd love to see them slow it down just a little bit because in that situation, there's nothing that anybody can do to get out of it except go down so he goes back to the lobby and again now we talk about this security team right now this security team is rotating up they're both on my level pretty separated right this is what i'm looking for now they're a little bit tighter together but i'm looking for that separation trying to figure out which one i want to fight first so i'm going to catch this guy across the street unfortunately did not re reload my automaton now i don't i don't know why i s reloaded the automaton and then switched my mp40 that didn't make a whole lot of sense but we're going to go ahead and push around here at this point i have a down now we're going to play fast. Now we're going to reposition. I'm going to reposition. I'm going to pre-fire this side. Fortunately, the loadout crate's there. I'm going to go ahead and get the down. Now I get the thirst, and that gives me a little bit of information about where this guy's going to be pushing to, right? I still have information. So he's chasing me. I'm going to reload real quick. And I talk about clean 1v1s, right? Clean 1v1s. All I had to do there was reload. Now I'm back in the fight. I didn't take any damage. So I can get back in this fight. I'm going to challenge this side. Again, we get the all upper torso shots. I was feeling really good with the MP40 this game. And now we're going to go ahead and push up. We have enough money for a UAV. So I'm going to go buy UAV. We have five other teams left. Four other teams left now. We have 13 kills. So I do farm a little bit of this lobby towards the end to really end up dropping 21. Now we have two choices here. Both teams are kind of close to each other. We have one team at Nova. We have one team at uh, kind of the decon area. And I'll pause this in a second to kind of talk you through my, my thought process here. Now, decon's a little bit tough with levels. I don't know if I open it one more. Essentially, what I saw is this guy... Right above him. Yeah, right here. Okay, so we got a team fighting over here. I do like fighting at Nova 6, although it gets a little bit tricky because of building levels. Now, this team over at Decon's pretty tight together. They're rolling pretty close, so we want to be careful about that. But I noticed this dot right here. This dot right here doesn't have a, have a lot of cover, and he's basically below me, and I just need to figure out which way he's going to. And what you're going to end up seeing is as I turn this corner, I have the automaton out. Switch the automaton. And he's looking at that decon team, right? He is hyper-focused on that decon team. Again, talking about TTK and hitting shots and executing there. I'm able to get that down. Now, if you miss shots there, he's able to get behind cover. And all of a sudden, not only do you not get the kill, now you're in a spot where that guy knows where you are and potentially starts to push you. So that's where execution is so important to solo duoing. At this point, I know I'm rotating back this way because that decon team is super close together. Nova 6 team is, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to go find out. I also know that I have a fire sale. Pay, know that in the beginning of the third circle, before circle starts closing, you have a fire sale. So I have only $4,000. UAV costs three with the fire sale. I'm going to use that to my advantage. This guy flies back in. We again hit all the shots. Don't take any damage. Now I'm trying to see what I can find here. We have 15 kills, three other teams. And the ending to this game is insane, by the way. If you are looking to get better at Warzone, guys, my, I took my KD from a 0.72 over a 4 KD. So if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so my content gets pushed to you a little bit more. And I post videos every single day, every single day. So if you want to know when I post, make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. I also live stream on YouTube, so you'll get notifications about that. Now, as I am kind of looking here, I'm trying to see what I can find. I'm actually kind of looking in this doorway. This is where I anticipate him. I don't actually catch him here in the moment. I didn't see him down here, but he actually is in that corner right there. And I noticed that there's two people below me and one above. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge above first. We get the break. Now we play fast. Now we push. 
and we end up getting a team wipe right here. So two other teams at this point, obviously two teams and two. I know one team is kind of further over at Decon, right? That same Decon team is still over there. And then I have this team over here. We have 16 kills. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this guy out of the air with spawn protection. I thought I might be able to squeeze in a few headshots, but I'm not able to. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this next situation. Another question that I get all the time. Joe, how do I clear buildings? Okay, 29.4. Let's think about this. First things first, 29.4. There's that little room in Nova 6 kind of on my level. Right, so I'm going to anticipate there. But again, he could be below, could be above. Not totally sure. But we need to be ready for him. So as I turn this corner, I actually do get audio. I do get footsteps here, which is why I'm ready for him. And right here... I need to be ready for him because I, I anticipate that he is going to be running. So that break right there, being able to break that guy is crucial because now I just go ahead and he's basically a bullet at that point. We get the thirst. Now notice he's below me, but notice which way he's pushing, right? He's kind of pushing towards that buy station. So I actually anticipate him being pushing up the stairs, but he's actually not. So I wasn't totally sure where he went here. I hear him throw down like a muni box or an armor box, but it sounded very close. So let's again talk about pace, right? Let's play this a little bit smart. This was kind of a dual purpose here. This was a, okay, let's figure out where everybody is, specifically that decon team, right? I don't know where that decon team is now. I still know the team's over at Nova 6, but also let's, let's farm this a little bit because at this point we're at 17. Let's see if we can really close out this game well. Now, why do I not peek here? I'm going to grab this trophy, uh, sorry, that combat belt. And I noticed this guy flying above me on this buy, on this bounty right here. Why do I not peek this? I do not peek this because I do not want him to live ping me. This guy is right here down in this corner, and I want to keep the element of surprise. I want him to commit before I push out. So right here, now I'm going to see where he is, and now I see that he's committed. So I wanted him to try to fly back on the Nova 6 roof, but he ends up pushing that way. So now I'm going to go ahead and challenge up on the rooftop, and right here... I catch a quick glimpse of him right in this corner right here. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge that way. We're going to get the down. We're going to get the thirst. He eats the throwing knife. And now I know that there's one below me. So again, let's talk about how do we clear buildings, right? So I'm going to go ahead and push all the way down here. I'm going to check this corner where I anticipate him to be. He's not there. So now let's go ahead and clear the next level. I'm going to go ahead and clear this way. Trying to see what I can find. I don't see him there. Now as we push in... We hit him with a little movement, jump to the right, and we're able to get that thirst. Now, we have 21 kills. It's a 1v2 to clutch this game up, and I almost choked this, guys. I almost choked this. We talk a lot about end games, power position, and cover, right? Where is the power position and the cover? The power position is right on the roof of Harbor. I have a lot of cover there. I have high ground. I'm basically even ground with them up here. And I'm in a really weird spot. The problem is, because I'm in solo duos... And because I was going for the gameplay, I got impatient. I got impatient. I should have just held here, just waited. Again, it's another 14 seconds till circle actually closes, and it's a massive circle here. So I, like, I do get impatient, which is a huge mistake. You can see me check to see how big the circle is, and I'm like, this game's going to get drawn out. So let me go ahead and push. Let me go see if I can find them. And they'd already rotated. They'd already rotated. So... I do get a little bit lucky here that this team's not that great. This is definitely one of the lower teams in the lobby, and I happen they happen to survive till endgame. So I am just using my movement here. At this point, I need to try to snap on this person, and he just runs out of bullets with the OTS-9, and I'm able to turn and fry him. So let's play fast again. Now we talk about repositioning. I'm going to go ahead and pull back. I'm going to replay. And now I'm in a, I know I'm in an okay spot. I know where they are. I have information that they're close. One is downed, although he's going to get picked back up. So let's go ahead and reposition here. I'm going to go ahead and push into this building for just for the positioning advantage, right? I have a lot of cover in here. I have a lot of... Uh, I'm kind of even ground with them. The only situation that where I'm really in trouble is if they get to the rooftop. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see what I can find here. See if they're pushing up roof. I'm going to play this heady, and I see this guy rotating right to the right here. So I catch him. I catch one. I take a little bit of damage. I re-peek, and then I actually get torched. Now, why do I go re-challenges? I go re-challenges because I have high ground here. I have high ground and a lot of cover, and they're not anticipating me to re-challenge this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the down, get the thirst. Now we're in a 1v1 situation. The only thing that I have to be concerned about here is this guy hitting the jump spot, hitting the blue barrels, jumping on roof, and challenging me. Now, I wanted to get on this little ledge right here. I end up falling down, which which we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and push back in here. I have plenty of cover. And at this moment right here, I know that I need to push. I can't... I could probably push up and try to beat him here, but what, you're going to see how I play this. I'm going to end up pushing this way. I'm going to end up eating a little bit of gas to try to get on roof again and just figure out. I'm just going to wait him out. Like, I know he has to push out of here. I'm just going to confirm that he's below me, 7.7 .7 meters below me. There he is right there. We're going to hit shots. We're going to get the down. We're going to get the thirst. 
and there is the 21 kill win i hope you found today's video helpful use this to your advantage in terms of you know pace of play repositioning and of course execute so that you can have more success in 1v2s let's get better today and i will see you tomorrow